Welcome. I invite you to subscribe, like, and share this story. We really appreciate your support. I want to remind you that all the stories of real people, who wants to share a story? Write to the mail, everything will be anonymous. Enjoy the journey. Should I continue my marriage after my wife's infidelity and questionable actions? Please write a comment. I will read them carefully. About seven years ago, my wife had an affair with a colleague which plunged me into deep shock. Her behavior seemed out of character, especially considering our 15-year marriage at the time. She was previously married, and she had six children from this marriage, while I had two children from my first marriage. In total, there were eight children in our mixed family. At the time of her affair, she was 51 years old, and I just turned 50. She's a nurse, and the entire nursing team she worked for cheated on their husbands or boyfriends. I noticed changes in her behavior. For example, she began to communicate more with her female colleagues, even went out for a drink. She also had an unusual desire to buy a, a babu, which she was determined to do regardless of my opinion. Accompanying her in the process of buying a car was an attempt to ensure a fair deal. She often talked about the car, began to talk about how she bragged about it in front of a couple of doctors and a male therapist. I know doctors, including a psychotherapist, so I didn't pay much attention to it. I met a psychotherapist many years ago because at that time he was caring for my mother. Accordingly, my wife knew him from work. Then I noticed that my wife started texting him, that is, around the time she bought the car. It was unusual because she had never written to him before. One morning, she started writing to him again. I asked who she was texting and she said it was George from work. I asked if I could read the messages. She asked me to wait a minute and she started deleting the text messages. I asked her to give me the phone again. My wife told me to wait again, continue deleting text messages. I tell her, so you have something there since you don't want me to see the correspondence, so you delete the messages. After deleting the contents, she throws me the phone. I said, well, I have nothing to watch because you deleted all the messages you wanted to hide from me. I asked what they were about and to whom they were addressed. She said it was two girls from work. They were talking nonsense about their husband. She didn't want me to see it. I work in the IT department and I have data recovery software that I use at work to get information from the company's mobile phones from HR staff when needed and she knew it. I said, it's alright, I'll find out what you deleted. Then she snatched the phone from me and left the room. I kept asking her to return the phone but she wouldn't give it to me. I asked her if she was having an affair. And of, of course she said no. I wouldn't have left her here because of the phone, so she left. A little later, the wife of our good friend called me and said that my wife had visited her, wanted to talk to her and thought it would be nice if I came too. By the time I got there, my wife was no longer in the house. I asked my friend's wife where she had gone. She told me that my wife went outside, got into the car, started it, drove forward back, then got out, went down to the pond and threw something into the pond. She said, I think it was her mobile phone. It was a day of discovery for me. I helped her raise all her children. They graduated from school and institutes. One of our children was going to get a higher education and went to university, and the other had to study at school for two years. This affair, as far as I know, lasted three months. Despite the fact that we had a consultation with three family therapists, my wife and I stayed together. She confesses her love to me and repents of her actions although she insists that their affair was not related to physical intimacy. Although I am skeptical about this statement, I decided to continue the marriage because of my undying love for her. However, I warned that any suspicion of future infidelity would lead to an immediate divorce. My sister suggested that my wife may have gone through a midlife crisis and menopause, which could explain her uncharacteristic behavior. My wife still has a BMW that she admits she only kissed him in and she still works at the same clinic where her lover works. I struggled with self-flagellation for my condescension, for not demanding that she give up her car or change her job under the threat of divorce. She knows that these circumstances still bother me, but she has never made any attempts to get rid of the traumatic situation, although the marriage psychologist said that it would be wise to do both, sell the car, find another job, Another thing that bothered me and still bothers me is that her attraction to me has weakened since the betrayal happened. She willingly has sex with me to show that she loves me, but I can tell for sure. She is not as excited as before. I ask her about it. She says that she may have problems with turning off her mind and concentrating. 
She really shows emotions to me, and I really believe or want to believe that she loves me, but I still can't accept that she's not aroused, even though we have sex regularly. I think she sleeps with me to show her love for me. That's fine, but I still don't particularly like artificiality. So here's what I've come to. I'm still bitter because of her betrayal and because she didn't tell the whole truth about herself. It is not known how everything really happened and how long it lasted. I'm still emotionally depressed because after her attraction to an affair partner, I've never seen her take care of me. The question of her sincere love is a heavy burden on my soul. As I approach the age of 57, there are several years left before I retire with full payments. The possibility of divorce looms. Liquidate the house and provide your share for a comfortable retirement is quite realistic. Her employment record guarantees her financial stability after the divorce. I have doubts about her emotional contribution to our relationship, and I suspect that her compliance may be caused by guilt, our shared home, and our children. To sum up, I'm trying to make a decision about continuing the marriage or about divorce. Her actions after this affair, compounded by her indecision in resolving lingering problems, fuel my doubts. The decrease in passion in our intimate life further exacerbates these fears. Despite her assurances, the authenticity of her feelings remains uncertain. The choice between saving a marriage or starting a new chapter is difficult and has implications for our future. Blog Author's Advice Hi, you said. My wife had an affair with a colleague about seven years ago. I was completely overwhelmed by it. She wasn't the type to do that. At least, that's what I thought, having been married for 15 years. Here's a fact for you. We never know anyone 100, even the people closest to us. People can have more than one side. One is the one that we see and know, and other sides are seen by other people. Firstly, if it was me, our relationship would have ended the moment the betrayal was discovered, but it's me, not you. In your case, I think that your reaction was too slow at the moment when you found out about your wife's infidelity. Did you mention whether this man was married or not? You should have gone straight to your wife's place of work, met a man, and asked him why the hell he was messing with your wife, and then explicitly warn him. Then you should have insisted that your wife quit this job and no longer have a relationship with him. If she refused, then you should have told her that if she didn't comply, you would file for divorce the next day. But after seven long years, your wife is still working with the same guy. No wonder you're insecure. If your wife had a three-month affair, then how do you know how long you were actually cheated on? Obviously, she still has feelings for him. How do you know they haven't been naughty since then? Maybe that's why you don't excite your wife. Now, the dilemma is that you have allowed this to go on for too long and it took you seven whole years to reach this point instead of nipping everything in the bud. There is still hope for your marriage. Considering that you have both reached an advanced age, and when you retire, your wife will be able to become more passive outside, closer to you. But if you can't forget infidelity, then only you can decide whether to live your life in old age with your wife or start a new chapter of your life after retirement. My advice, talk to your wife, reveal to her your feelings, fears, thoughts. Explain that her affair is eating you up. You don't feel that she really loves you and ask her how she still feels about that doctor and marriage with him. Thank you for joining me on this exciting journey of love, betrayal, and redemption. I appreciate your support and encourage you to subscribe, like, and share this story. Your participation and feedback are invaluable for shaping our content and promoting mutual understanding and community growth. Until we meet again.